Where is ESPN's College Game Day going in week two? Now, they have not announced it, but of course, there have been a couple of leaks and whatnot. And by looking at the schedule, there's not a ton of options for next week. But we always like to talk about it. We, we like to chop this thing up. And there are people that are wanting to what? The situation. So we will go ahead and pull up the schedule for next week, looking at the ESPN scoreboard. And of course, the first game on the docket there, it is a Fox game, but Alabama heads to Texas. Now, this is, this would be only the second time that they have gone to Austin since the 2009 season. So more than a decade, they've only had one stop over there, and that was 2019 when LSU went to Austin. Uh, and, you know, Joe Burrow, all that good stuff. And it was also in week two of the season, if I'm not mistaken. But, uh, but only once since 2009, yeah, they are probably going to be in Austin for a game that's on Fox. Uh, Reese Davis has let it be known, like they are still going to go to Big Ten games, even if ESPN has no Big Ten games on their networks, because they're going to go where the story is. And there are a ton of storylines with this. Steve Sarkeesian was the OC at Alabama under Nick Saban. Uh, there's a bunch of transfers that went from Alabama to Texas. Of course, Quinn Ewers wins the starting job, etc. The only way that they don't go to this game is if somehow Utah State or Louisiana Monroe pulls off upsets over one of these two in week one. I don't foresee that happening. Both are uh, upper 30-point favorites. Uh, Alabama, they're over a 40-point favorite. I don't foresee those happening. But you never know, so we got to toss out the pop, uh, the possibility, I guess. Uh, other than that, like Baylor at BYU, it is a late, late game, but that one is on ESPN. Um, you scroll all the way down, and yeah, I mean, that's an ESPN game at 9.15 p.m. Central Time. Maybe that works. It's a Top 25 team against top 10 team. Of course, that could be crushed if BYU were to go and lose this weekend at South Florida. Uh, USC at Stanford maybe could be interesting because there is a storyline there. Stanford, of course, the team that beat USC last year. They got uh, uh, Clay Helton fired. Oh, I wanted to say Chip Kelly. Not not, not that one. Uh, there's also Tennessee at Pitt next week and Kentucky at Florida. Eh, Alabama at Texas seems to be the storyline. So that is the way that I'm going to go on that one. So Alabama at Texas is where I believe game day will head in week number two. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.